Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen, everybody. Tonight, we are making more soup, because you can never have enough. We are making porcini wild rice soup. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. It's just porcini wild rice soup. That's what we're making tonight. It's gonna be really earthy, lots of mushrooms and wild rice. Couldn't tell from the title. I'm a little, little scared because it has an awful lot of mushrooms in there. And as you all know, it's not my number one favorite thing in the world. However, I'm coming around. So this is gonna have porcinis and baby bellas in it. So everything you need is listed below. As always, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is grab a small saucepan. We're gonna boil two cups of water because we're gonna soak our dried porcini mushrooms. We only need a half an ounce, so not this entire package. Wow, look at that. That was perfect. I pour the water in here and it's exactly two cups. Couldn't have done that again if I tried. All right, now that we got that boiling, grab your onion. You just need one large onion and we're gonna slice it thinly. Ooh, this is gonna be a good onion. All right, our water is almost boiling. So what we're gonna do is measure out a half an ounce of these dried porcini mushrooms if you're wondering where to find these, I just found these at our local regular supermarket. You can probably get these at most groceries. Shouldn't need to go anywhere fancy. All right, now we're going to take our boiling water, put it in the bowl with the porcini mushrooms, and we're gonna cover this with a plate and then set it aside and let it rehydrate. Now, get back to chopping. We're gonna mince our garlic. Now grab your soup pot and we're gonna preheat it over medium high heat. Go ahead and throw your olive oil in there. In the meantime, grab your thyme. Oh yes, you're gonna need two tablespoons of this deliciousness. All right, I think we're heated enough. So go ahead and throw in your onions and we're gonna saute this for about three minutes. Then add the garlic, thyme, salt, and pepper. And we're gonna cook this for about 10 minutes Stirring frequently, just until it's browned. Mmm, that thyme is just delicious. Now, while that is sauteing, grab your cremini, or baby bella mushrooms. They said to slice them thinly in the cookbook. So, what we're gonna do is just give them another slice. You don't have to, but if you wanna slice them thin like the cookbook requests you to do, then you should. We have started to brown a little bit, so now we're gonna add our cremini mushrooms, and we're gonna saute this for about three minutes. And in the meantime, grab your porcini mushrooms, get some tongs, you don't wanna burn yourself, take them out, and then we're gonna slice these thinly as well. I have to say, I really like that smell. If you've ever smelled porcini mushroom, like broth, uh, this is the first time I think I have, but it smells really good. All right, these are sliced as thin as they can be, as flimsy as they are. So we're gonna add these to the stock pot now, and then add your porcini broth. And now what you want to do is let it cook for a few more minutes. Fun fact! Wild rice are four different species of grasses. And from that is where we harvest the grain. They grow in shallow water in small lakes and streams. And typically only the flowering head rises above the water. So that's the only way you really see it. Because of this, it's a duck delicacy. Three of the four species are native to North America. One in the Great Lakes region, another in the Atlantic and Gulf Coast, and lastly, along the San Marcos River in Texas. The fourth species is a perennial native to China. And wild rice is more nutrient dense than the white variety, as it provides more protein and fiber, thus making it better if you want to stay fuller longer and lose weight. So if you can opt for wild rice, definitely do. All right, we've cooked this for a few minutes. So now what we're gonna do is add our wild rice and our vegetable stock. You need four cups. Now we're gonna bring this to a boil, so cover it. All right, we're at a boil. So we're gonna lower this, cover it back up, and we're gonna simmer for 45 minutes. All right, we've got about 10 minutes left, so what I want you to do is grab a carrot, peel it, grab some parsley. Now ideally, you will have gotten French parsley for this, which is also called chervil, or chervil, I don't really know. I've never had it, can't find it, went to four different places, so I got parsley instead. 
It's a French parsley. If you can find it, it's supposed to be a little bit different than a normal parsley. It's supposed to be kind of lemony. It sounds delightful, but I couldn't find it. So we're just sticking with the regular kind today. All right, it's been about 45 minutes. So the rice is supposed to be tender. Let's check it. All right, I think we're good. So what we're supposed to do now is first figure out if you think it's too soupy or too thick. Uh, I might add just a little bit of water. I have a feeling when it sits, probably gonna get a little thicker. All right, now that we have it to our desired thickness, what we're gonna do, grab our carrot and we're gonna grate it right into the pot. We're gonna stir that in, turn off the heat, and let it sit for 10 minutes. Let's try it. All right, so again, we just put regular parsley on top. If you were lucky enough to find the chervil, then good on you. Put that on there instead. So my initial thoughts are it's a very mellow soup. Not a lot of strong flavors. The mushrooms are fine in it. They're not like annoying to me, like I would think they would be. It's not a bad soup. I feel like it just needs a little bit more flavor. And I don't know what that would be other than just a little bit of salt. If you're trying to not add a lot of salt to it, then as far as the flavors go, they're not bad. It's just a very mellow soup. I like wild rice a lot, and I like soup, and I like carrots too. So that combination would make me think that this would be a really good soup, like packed with flavor. It's really not. Would I make this again? I would modify it for sure. If I did make it again, I might add some celery, might add a little bit more salt. The porcini mushrooms, I would definitely keep in there. It's a unique mushroom taste that you don't always get. If I were to make it again, like just like this by the recipe, probably not. I hope you liked watching this. I enjoyed making it. Make sure to subscribe and comment and like and share and all that good stuff. I will see you all next time. Alexa, how many grams are in an ounce? Seth, Portini, Wild Rush, Red Rock Rush Mushroom Chops.